Hi everybody, it's Jeanette. Uh, I'm pausing for a minute for it to get warmed up. Uh, welcome. Uh, I thought I'd pop in and share some thrift store finds, which is something that I'm going to do anytime I go to thrift stores, antique stores, or anything like that. I'm going to pop in and share what I found, get ideas for projects from you guys, maybe, or tell you what my thoughts are and tell me if I've lost my head. Maybe I need to do something else. Our dog is barking because it's only her and I at home right now, so hopefully she won't keep it up. She hears me talking. I think she thinks someone else is here. <laughs> she doesn't know you guys are here. Anyway, so thrift store finds. So what, when you watch this, cause most of you will probably watch it on replay since I didn't tell you guys I was coming on. Um, share a picture, share a video, whatever, of what things that you found at the thrift store or share things that you're looking for and you can't find. Cause maybe some of us can find some. So that might be kind of a nice little idea too. So, I've gone to a couple of thrift stores in our area, and I'll start showing you what it is I found. This here, I kind of have a plan for what I'm going to do. She's starting to come upstairs. <laughs> for those that don't know, I'm in my uh, craft room that I'm kind of putting together upstairs. Um, but I found a couple of these. They're gold, very, very old, very dated. And um, my thought on these is, I mean, these are not fancy or anything. They were just reproduction stuff. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is turn that into small chalkboards and, of course, kind of whitewash kind of over this gold. And I, I'm going to do a post and show you exactly how to cover up some of this gold. I've got an easy way to do it. And they've got one that's a little more complicated, but, you know, some people might want to go that extra mile. So I've got one of those, and then I've actually got the other one. <laughs> this one I actually like better. I like this frame. It's in bad shape, but I actually like the frame on this one a lot more. So I think I'll make a couple of chalkboards. So I thought those will be a grand idea. If anybody has any other ideas, please let me know. Um, I'm going to go big and then get smaller. I found this. Oh, I'm losing a picture out of it. I need to kind of fix that. That wasn't like that when I brought it when I brought it home. But maybe hauling it upstairs, I may have lost a picture. But this is a picture box. Um, there's a picture on the top, on each side, and in the front, which I'm losing, and there. And when you open it, you can see where you can insert the pictures. They just pop in. So there's that. But when you open it, there's these little books that you can keep pictures in. Now, I have no idea if this is archival or not. So I kind of think that I might use this for work pictures uh, because I am going to start printing some of my pictures instead of not print. Oh, hi. And when you come in, say hi. Let me know that you're there. <laughs> I just realized somebody's watching. So pop in, say hi, ask any questions too, because if I see a question come up, I'll answer it. Or if you have any comments or anything. But anyway, I don't know how archival these are. So I probably won't put precious family pictures in this. But I might do some work pictures. That might be kind of a fun thing to have. One thing I've learned, if you're working, take pictures of your products and your, if your crafts, if you're selling them and stuff. Or even if you're not, because you never know when you might. And you're going to regret not having those pictures. Set that over there. Okay, and then I found this. Do you ever find something that you're really like, oh, do I really want that? And Because it's just a little wooden bench, okay? But then I saw where it said, Happy Mother's Day, Nana. <laughs> it kind of broke my heart. This, this was, I don't know what happened to Nana. I don't know who she is. But it kind of broke my heart to see this in a thrift store. <laughs> so I had to have it, right? And I thought it would be cute. It's just a small little bench. Um, little, I don't know, seat for a child or something. But I, these things are great when you're doing displays or something. Even in your your table centerpiece, these little riser type things is what this will become. Um, it was only two dollars, and I do need to tighten up something on here. That board there is kind of loose. So, and it also has a Home Depot tag. So this is not, you know, old or anything. I think Home Depot usually does kids' uh, workshops. So it was probably made there. Um, but I'll, I'll probably pop that off and kind of clean it up, paint it, of course, and use it as a centerpiece for little risers and things like that. 
or you know on mantles and, and little shelves and stuff like that maybe even set it in the kitchen you could also another thought might be kind of different you turn it on your side and you've got the space in here it might be kind of fun for little books and if you went to the website lately I think my latest post is little books so you know you could use it like that too so I'm thinking outside the box on that one but that might be kind of interesting okay then I bought I haven't even taken things out of the bag so I do have I actually went who has thrift store list like you do a shopping list where you write down things to look for one of my things on my list was a wooden bowl and this is what I found a dollar fifty for a wooden bowl I wanted one with a pretty much of a dome top that was real real important to me it does have a flatness but but it's kind of got that dome so I already know what I'm going to do with that I'm not gonna wear it as a hat promise oh <laughs> I just did uh, but it will be a very unique project and it involves spindles so that's going to be coming up on the on the website uh, probably in a few weeks it's gonna take me a little while to get that one put together plus it's 900 degrees outside so I want I'm not doing a lot of woodworking outside right now okay also in the bag I don't remember what this is Jessica hello well welcome um oh yeah <laughs> of course my, one of my favorite things, sorry about all the noise, one of my favorite things to buy in thrift stores are frames. I love working with frames, not only, um, <laughs> and ask any questions and, you know, any ideas or anything. I love fr thrift, stop, sh th thrift shop frames and, and the projects that you can do with them. Uh, I mean, everything, I took one frame one time and made a box that fit right around the bottom edge, took the glass out, but used this as like a top edge to my box. Um, and I love that little box. It's very, very cute, so there's there's that. But to be honest, I, want, I needed a bunch of small frames. I wanted them all wooden, um, and I will be changing them up. But I needed some, some wooden frames because I'm going to do a gallery wall, and I'm going to make it a printable. And I want to make it printable so that you can print out the gallery wall and you can vary the sizes. I don't want to get too elaborate, but if you've got, you know, a, a, an area and you'd love to do a gallery wall, I will have the, it's going to be everything from 8, eight by 10 on down to the 4 by 6 which these are five by sevens, but anyway. Uh, so it will be a gallery wall, and I will give you several different ways that you can put it together and show you different ways to, like if you want this picture, but you would like it in a smaller frame instead of the big one, I'll give you tips on that. And also tips on if you want something that's in a frame that's larger than eight by 10, just you know using the mat and picking the size that's gonna fit that mat and getting it printed out. So, so I think that'll be a lot of fun. So that's one of my projects I'm working on. Also in that bag, <laughs> okay, when I go to thrift stores, you know, not only do I look for books, because I love thrifty books, um, and of course little furniture and stuff, but my main thing is look for spindles, first of all, and wood. You know, I kind of train my eye to just kind of scan a quick shelf and go, what is on this shelf that's wooden? <laughs> and then I kind of go from there. <laughs> but window, a wooden um, candle, uh, napkin ring, sorry. I've been on the phone this morning with my mom and I've been talking already for an, an hour. So I'm kind of tired. <laughs> Hi, Pip. Hi, welcome. Any questions, anything, let me know. So anyway, I found these wooden uh, candle, or I keep saying candle, napkin rings. I think these will be great for the holidays. We've got the holidays coming up. So I will use these for the holidays. And I'm trying to decide whether I want to, I don't want to leave them this color. I'm trying to decide if I want to just take sandpaper. I happen to have a piece right here. I've got several pieces. And just sand it off. Let me show you this. And this is, I'm actually going to do a post on thrift store woods and sanding it. So a little bit of sanding takes the, takes it from that look to that look. 
and I'm thinking about just sanding them and letting them be kind of raw wood to a certain extent. Not worrying about the cre creases because I, I like that dimension in there. So I think I might do that. Either that or throw white paint on them or cream or something like that. Um, so anyway, that's something else that I bought. Okay. And <laughs> okay. If you've been on the website lately, you know that I bought a huge, uh, bigger than either one of these, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't think, um, embroidery hoops, wooden embroidery hoops. These have been, these are on my list. So yeah, I had to buy some of these. These are a little bit smaller than the one that's actually on my website right now, and it's hanging over the mantle downstairs. But I saw these two at another thrift store, and I thought, okay, I gotta have these. I'm going to add it to the display in some way. So I'm gonna kind of work these in and just add another picture to that post and say, hey, if you find some more later, grab them, because they're a lot of fun. And I just, I love the colors on them. I'm not gonna paint them. I'm gonna leave them just wood. And I really love that. So I bought those. And then, of course, because I also have a passion for anything that turns, I bought a wooden um, Lazy Susan. Okay, just turns. Um, nice, smooth, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I may just give it kind of a farmhouse finish and let it be. Keep it on the table for when we have... Uh, my mom moved back to Arizona, so I'm very excited about it. So I think we'll have a few more family gatherings. So, you know, if we're having a casual hamburgers and hot dogs or something like that, we can put all our condiments on here and the family will spin this thing like crazy. There's a movie that has that. I always laugh at that because I thought my family does that. And just so you know, this is another one that I made quite some time ago. It's on the website that spins. Um, and that one spins with marbles. So... <laughs> You can make anything spin. But I've also thought about um, maybe using this as a base and building something on top of it. Um, and one thing that, and I don't know if this will be sturdy enough, I may not, but one thing that I built, and I, I built it for my mom, and I want to build one for us, and it's a tall, lazy Susan kind of a thing. It's, it spins anyway. And it's, it's got shelves at different levels, and they each go up to a point, okay, all the way around. And I want to put that together and use it for family photos. Um, and I want all the frames to be in silver. I've already pictured it because I did it for my mom. I want the pictures to all be in silver. Make sure the, black, the backs all have black, black felt on them. And that way you can spin it around and all the family pictures are all in one spot. And I would love that. And I would like it to be tall. I would like it to be about six, maybe even seven feet tall. <laughs> so it's a big project. I don't know that this... Um... Jane from across the pond. Hello, Jane. Hi. <laughs> Welcome. I'm so glad you're here. There's a lot of people popping in. I'm really liking this. Uh, if you have any questions or anything or any other ideas, <laughs> let me know. But I'm not sure if this Lazy Susan will be supportive enough. I, you know, because that gets heavy with all those silver frames. So I may just use it for ketchup and mustard. So who knows? Any other ideas? I would love to hear. I even thought about using it for a clock, but... You know, with the Lazy Susan mechanism on it, because that's what I first saw. I thought, ooh, wouldn't that be cute for a rustic clock, whether it told time or not? Um, <laughs> time doesn't matter to me. Uh, but with the Lazy Susan, I hate to get rid of that part. That's a neat aspect of it, so I may keep it. It was only $2. $2.56. Looks like. Hmm. It's a strange amount. And then the other thing that I bought, the last thing that I have to show you, is a rolling pin. <laughs> I, I, I don't really collect them. I have a couple, but usually the ones that I have are using, you know, I use. Um, so this is kind of the first one that I really don't want to use. Does anyone have any ideas if I did want to use this? Because I do use a rolling pin quite a bit. I love to make, especially during the holiday times, I'll make cinnamon rolls. I'll make, um, what else? Uh, different cookies, of course. Things like that. Oh, and a roll. I don't use a rolling pin on a roll cake. 
now that I think about it. But um, so how do I clean this? Does anybody have any ideas? This looks like it's pretty, pretty old. I love the handles. And of course, when I walk into a thrift store, I always look for anything turned. So that's what caught my eye when I saw this was the turned handles. So I really don't know if I'll use it. I may just let it sit on my kitchen counter um, and just let it be there. But if I did want to use it, anyone have any tips for cleaning cleaning it? I wouldn't want to use it just as it is. No telling where it's been. <laughs> so I would like it to be clean before I actually used it. But it would be kind of fun to actually use it for, oh, and biscuits. That's another thing that I make not not normally, but occasionally I will. So if you've got tips for cleaning a rolling pin, um, leave them in comments. And that's everything that I've got for this haul. If you've got a haul that you've done, if you've gone to the thrift store lately, snap a picture of it and um, put it in the comments so we can all see what you got. Um, do a video, you're welcome to do it. I think you can do a live video as a, I think you can if anybody wants to try it and also a, a, a side note on that if I have any I know I've got a couple of bloggers here on this you're welcome to if you want to experiment and start trying to do live videos because they're scary um, try them here we're we're an open generous group so tr practice here we wouldn't really mind you know show us what you made lately or whatever it might be show us a little tutorial or anything whether you're a blogger or not. So I I'm, I'm, would love to see it. <laughs> and also let me know if you're able to. I think that you can. Hi, soapy warm water as soon as you have finished with it. Okay, so use just soapy warm water as soon as I'm finished and I should, or before I even start with it, wash it down real good with soapy warm water. Okay, I'll try that. I'll, I'll make sure that I scrub it really, really well with one of those soft scrubby things and uh, I might just use it. Maybe I'll make some biscuits for, uh, I think my mom's coming up this weekend so maybe I'll make some biscuits while she's up. <laughs> uh, she'll be here actually for a couple of weeks so it'll be a lot of fun. And again, share your projects. If you have any ideas for anything that you see that you think, oh, why don't you make one of these? Let me know because I, you know, that might be a great idea. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I can't wait to see what your thrift store hauls are. Um, so snap a quick picture. Even if you've, you know, you bought it and you've already painted it or something, snap a picture. Let me know what you what you found at your thrift stores or if there's something that you're looking for that you're having trouble finding. Put it in there. Maybe someone can find it for you and we can kind of work, work out something with that. that. That might be kind of a neat idea too. Thanks for watching everybody. You go have a creative day. And I've got to get to work on some other projects. And I'm actually, well, my first one is to go hang these along with my other frame. So I'm going to go decorate that mantle. Snap a picture and add it to that post. And then I've got another Another few projects to do, like the DIY help letters coming out tonight. So I got to finish that up. Thanks, everybody. Talk to you soon. Bye.